from wherever you're sitting, it's probably quite obvious that it takes some serious guts to perform here on It Takes Two. Now, the next couple are some of the gutsiest stars in Australia. We've paired one of Australia's classiest ladies with one of Australia's Aussiest comedians. Let's meet Wendy Matthews and Russell Gilbert. G'day, I'm Russell Gilbert. I was a butcher for nine years, then I started doing stand-up comedy, and I was lucky enough to be in the comedy company, then Hey Hey It's Saturday. Then three years ago, I bought a, um, an Ikea franchise. I haven't opened it yet, I'm still putting it together. I lost the man on the key. I'm just worried about my partner's drawn the short straw. Promise you'll have a look. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wendy Matthews! Get out! God love you! <laughs> Oh, I know what you're thinking. You were <laughs> I came to Australia from seven years in Los Angeles. Glenn Shark and the Little River Band actually brought me down to Australia to do a tour, and I've been here ever since. Oh, I couldn't believe it when I saw so Russell. Well, He's sort of a, an icon. He's an Australian <laughs> icon. Very funny man, and I've sort of known him socially over the years. I'm a big fan of Wendy's. I'm a bit embarrassed for her. He's well, just the quintessential Aussie bloke comedian. We've got a day to get <laughs> one day. I think this suits you down to the ground. OK. So we'll get to and show he... one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can imagine he'd kind of, he'd kill it as a, as a crooner. I would definitely do mine if I could. I'm looking forward to it. I think he's gonna, just going to be very out there. She'll nail them all. She will. But uh, I don't know about me. Please don't laugh. This is not a joke. Would you please put your hands together for Russell Gilbert and Wendy Matthews performing that swing standard. They can't take that away. The way you wear your hat The way you sip your tea The memory of all that your night the way we dance till three the way you changed my life no no they can't take that away from me no they can't take that away baby <laughs> oh man, that was scary stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Russell, he said Wendy drew the short straw getting you, but surely you can't say that now after what was a knockout performance. Oh, you happy with that? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm all dry and I sort of feel like the bottom of a birdcage at the moment. But <laughs> <laughs> I really do. But uh, we had a little bit of a run. She's been marvellous, Wendy, and helped me out, so it's been great. We know you can laugh at anything, but. Um... Is there anything about this process that actually genuinely scares you? Uh, everything. Yeah, everything. Okay. Yeah, the whole lot. Um, Glad it's, that just, up. it's just been really different. <laughs> and so, and so I'll give something else a go. Why not? You know, this is good fun. And uh, for charity, why not? Have fun. And how do you turn a clown into a king this way? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's his whole sort of essence to, to his speed. <laughs> so I'm trying to, whoa, Nelly, back, back, yeah. back. But it's we were practicing, you know, I finished the song and there's still a half an hour of music. And <laughs> when you went, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Ross, did you like it? Yeah, I mean, you really, you're one of the greatest stand up comics in Australia. You're still standing, you're still funny. And Thanks, now Mark. we find out you can sing as well. It's just <laughs> terrific. Thanks, Marina. Yeah, you can sing. You're out of your comfort zone. We know that. But 
you're you're known and loved as being a relaxed, funny man, and I just think you need to tap into that. We mm. want to see more of that. But you've got a lovely voice. Well done. Thank you. James, are we seeing a different side to someone we know pretty well? Well, you'd hope so, really. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> I thought it was incredibly cruel that you got a song that, had, that includes the line, the way you sing off key. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that was my that's line. Just, that's just that's so nasty to you. <laughs> but, but you didn't for most of it. Okay. You know, it was actually really good. It was a really engaging performance. Thank you. That's right. The, the line, the way you sing off key, was actually a lyric, not an instruction. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to be funny. I'm That's sorry. Funny. It's my way of being funny. You're great. You're Thank lovely. You. Thank you. You both look like you're enjoying each other's company as well. Oh, Continue to do so backstage. We'll just wait. Uh, Kate is waiting for you there. He is a funny man. Is he a crooner? It's yet to be decided. You two can vote. It's at the end of the show. and will take him all the way to the end. If you like his comedy and his singing as a package. Kate. You've got to God love them. They've been fantastic. And I must say, um, I didn't realise what a suave man you were. Oh, yeah, I've got to get the suit back tomorrow before four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but you seem very happy with yourself too. Are you pleased? I'm just happy that this is over. It's been really stressful. And yeah. uh, I'm poor Wendy. I don't know how she's put up with me. So no, thanks, you've Wendy. Been wonderful. <laughs> she has to say that. Mm. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the judges' scores. Marina Pryor. Seven. James Valentine. Six. Amanda Pellman. Seven. Ross Wilson. Yeah, I give it seven. Oh, 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 what are you worried about? Oh, adding them up. <laughs> well, 27 is not too bad. Oh, OK. <laughs> let's, let's get back to Grant. Later in the show, Ernie Dingo and Rachel Beck, Joe Stanley and Anthony Kalia, but next, Julia Zamiro and Screamin' Dave Gleason. Thank you.